Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can make this crazy textured invert effect. In this video, there's going to be a lot of effects that you could just take and put on a bunch of other clips as well. This effect seems super simple, but you guys can take these ideas and effects and turn them into your own effects as well. So hopping into it, we have the Cardi and Weekend Timeless video opened up in the timeline, and we're going to be using this to create the effect on. Before we hop into this video, you can get buy one, get one free editing packs for everything on my website. If you guys are looking for brand new plugins like Fast Effects or Surveillance, those are also included in the deal. If you guys add six editing packs to your cart, three of those are going to be completely free. Fast Effects allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, and have full customizability over all of them inside of Premiere Pro. And surveillance allows you to add crazy security camera effects inside of After Effects, alongside all of my other packs like color grading, drag and drop 3D, music video titles, textures, and a ton more. And we also have an all-in-one bundle where you can get all my packs for one price. If this is something you guys are interested in, go check out my website down below. But without further ado, let's hop right back into the video. So to start off, we're going to go over to effects and presets and search up invert. And we're going to drag and drop on the one underneath the channel here. So just drag and drop that on your clip. You guys can see we get an inverted effect just like this. Now, next, we're going to go ahead and search something called tint up. And we're going to drag and drop this on as well. The one under color correction. Now, this is where stuff gets super interesting, guys. You can play with your amount of tint if you want to get a different look here. Or if you want to make your black a different color, you can change it here. Or if you want to make your white a different color, you can change it here as well and really get some unique looks. We're going to go with the invert effect for this one. But if you do want to switch it up, you could do it inside of there. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to right click, go over to new and create an adjustment layer. And on that adjustment layer, we're going to put in a plugin called NTSC. It's this one right here. This plugin is completely free. If you guys want to go download it, it'll be linked below. We're just going to drag and drop this on our footage. And you guys can see we get a little bit more texture, but it's nothing crazy. We have before and after. You can really see it down here. But to step it up, we're going to go ahead and turn this composite pre-emphasis all the way to two. And then we're going to go over and turn up the intensity as well until we get it to our liking. You guys can see there we get a lot more texture in here. Now, if we go down, we can see this little glitch bar at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the height on this. You guys can see and then turn up the wave intensity as well. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that you could keyframe and play with inside of here to really get your own unique textured look. You guys can see I just play with that. But what we could do to make this a little bit cleaner is if we go over and search up Lumetri Color and drag and drop this on the actual video layer itself, we're going to put it on top of everything and then go into basic correction and we're going to turn up the contrast all the way. We're going to turn the shadows up to our own liking where the blacks are nice enough. And then we're going to go ahead and turn this up and you're basically just going to tweak with it until you get it to your own liking. So let's say we like that. That looks super crazy there, guys. You can add a little bit more sauce if you go ahead and throw on a noise here at the bottom. We're just going to go ahead and throw on this one right here. And if you turn it up, you guys can see we get a little bit more texture in there. That might be a bit too much. So I'm just going to turn it up a tad. And you can turn on color noise on or off, whatever you decide on. And that's pretty much the effect. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and let me know what other videos you want to see down below. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.